it is Sunday, January. If you look at the time, 7:10, January 14th at 7:10 a.m. And I got peas on already. I got my goat meat on already. And these are things that I have to do because mommy's not here. If mommy was here, I wouldn't have to do any of these things. And I have no shame about it. Already tearing this kitchen apart. So yeah, good morning guys. It's a new week. January 14th. The week of January 14th. So yeah. Welcome back in the kitchen cooking. It's early, early, early. Sunday dinner is going to be some curry goat, rice and peas, white rice. Because two of these people don't eat rice and peas. So I need to make white rice for them and some jerk chicken in the oven. Alright, let's see how dinner turns out. Bye guys. Not even bye. Hang with me today. Okay, so see how ooh. Okay, let's go a little bit higher. The steam. I don't know if you can see. See that? That's just from the, the meat itself. I haven't added no water to this pot yet. This is just from the meat itself. When I make any type of stew, I like to make the meat spring its natural waters first before I add any type of additional water so I'm gonna cover that back let it keep springing some more and peas is going I need to sink my peas as where my mother tell me is to sink the peas just basically add water but yeah I don't know I'm trying to see I'm trying to let you guys see all that liquid right there And that's just from the thing. Just from the thing.
teardrops. Now that you got me started, I just can't stop. No, no. You guys just saw me cut up the pineapple and I'm going to make some pineapple carrot ginger juice. So yeah, I'm going to cut up some carrots, boil them down a little bit just to soften them up to blend them up. And yeah, I'm going to make carrot, pineapple carrot ginger at home. I'm going to peel the carrots here. You saw me, I'm, I washed the, the skin of the pineapple before I turned you guys on. Um, just in case you were wondering, but if you saw, I put the, the I put that on the stove to boil, so that's going to boil down a little bit. I'm gonna blanch them. Let's boil them, just soften them up a little bit. They blend better. So I'm gonna boil my carrot, cut up my carrot, and um, yeah, make some pineapple carrot ginger drinks. As I said before, my man day here, but when I this is the reason why I don't I don't cook because when I cook, me can just do one something. Me can yes, they do cook things. I don't like just coming out of the kitchen for doing no pian pian cooking. Little, little cooking. No, stop. I'm going to come in the kitchen, but I'm coming in the kitchen, um, you know? Okay, so I have to do a voiceover for this section because I completely forgot to pause the YouTube video that I was watching and the it was really loud so I can't take the audio out, I can't get it out. So anyways, right now you guys are watching me basically cutting up the veggies for the pot. I had to cut up like the peppers, carrots, onions, potatoes, you know, scallion to season the pot. Um, once you get to you know the process where the meat has softened you want to re-season your pot you know bring back some of the extra flavor into your pot so that's what i'm doing right here and who's 
watch the video enjoy the video even though i don't enjoy cooking all the time i do enjoy it while i'm doing it and while i'm in the kitchen i actually like to go all out the only thing i didn't do this day is i did not bake because that's something else i would have done i would probably made like a little box cake or something while i was cooking but as you can see when i'm cooking i literally do too much um sometimes but yeah this is just me in the kitchen you know mommy's away in jamaica enjoying her time away from um, america in winter you know i love that for her i, I really do appreciate that for her to go away in the winter time so she doesn't have to deal with it um, her body doesn't react well in the winter time so her being in Jamaica is a good thing for her um, I don't know if I already passed by where she's in the, the there's a little bit of clips in here with her in Jamaica doing basically the same thing that I'm doing cooking her Sunday dinner but yeah um, thanks for watching okay you see the chicken right there on the counter I'm getting ready to put that in the oven but yeah you know hot scotchy <laughs> you see the pepper pepper they're ready for burn you but anyways you know the pepper them up here really not that hot you know when the pepper them from Jamaica them really hot and you know ready for burn out to you but anyways when I'm in this kitchen cooking I'm always making sure I'm cleaning I clean as I go because me no one have to clean up no dirty plate when me done when me done cook after hours of in being in the kitchen me want done pack up and left as you'll see at the end of the video towards the end of the video when me done cook me done and gone go share your own food and you deal with the situation yourself me not me not have time for nothing else me just want to go rest and that's it <laughs> See, I finished cutting up the this, this stuff and I put it in the pot. Or as we said, me don't cut up the things them I make put it in the pot, you know, to make the pot look pretty again, you know, fix it up. But yeah, put the stuff in the pot and yeah. Now um I'm about to cover this down, let it cook down, add a little bit of black pepper, maybe a little bit more scotchy if it needs it. But that's it. Now all these vegetables get to cook, cook down, turn into nice little rich gravy and curry will be finished yeah so watch what i'm about to do you see how my purpose completely forgot the, the plate cloth look at that burn myself but anyways to grab the plate cloth this is the pineapple skin with the ginger that i'm gonna blend up and these are the carrots that i'm gonna blend to make the, the punch um so yeah and the peas bubbling you know ready to <sighs> So the chicken ready for go to the oven yep and then i'm almost to the end of this dinner almost to the end chicken going in the oven and before you know it it'll be dinner time and it's probably gonna be in the oven for like another hour or so hour and a half until it's done apple skins with the ginger Crackers? That's great. Those crackers were great. First, you your mother buy them and then you said, yeah, yeah. What are you talking about, boy? 
I don't know. Rock and stove. Rock and stove? Right, the one on the left, yes. I don't know, that's from the right seat. It's off. I'm gonna learn how to cook one day. You sure will. Making some steamed veggies. Now I'm here having to do the cooking. See? The abandoner. She's the abandoner right there. She's in her kitchen in Jamaica cooking up a storm. On her new stove, she went to Jamaica about her nice new stove. Nice new stove. Show them your stove, mommy. Back up and show them your stove. She got her nice new stove in Jamaica. You gotta take them, pick them, pick plastic off. <laughs> she got herself a nice new stove in Jamaica. Look at her cooking oxtail, and I'm cooking curry goat here. She doing oxtail and fried and rice and peas and fried chicken. And I'm doing jerk chicken in the oven, rice and peas, and curry goat. Oh, so you had the jerk chicken in the oven too? Yeah. See, she cutting up her stuff to go in the pot. And I'm making coleslaw. Making coleslaw. So, yep. She's in Jamaica cooking. And I'm here cooking. And no, I didn't call her to ask her what to do. I just called her to call her. Made some coleslaw here. About to make some carrot punch. I think I put all like the Irish machine in here, the mix one.
There goes my carrot juice. I forgot to show y'all. So I made one, two. That's my pineapple. That's my pineapple. So yeah, don't pay attention to my fridge and, and go grocery shopping this week. So that's another carrot juice. I needed more carrots, but it'll be all right. This is a big old bottle of pineapple ginger and pineapple ginger. Yeah. Rice and peas. My curry goat. My steamed cabbage. My oven jerk. Yep. I don't know if y'all could see it, but I just got done cooking. Put my compost outside. And look, it's snowing. It better not be sticking around. It just better be some squall passing through. Because nobody got time for that. But I'm done cooking. I am finished. I done washed up the dishes for now. I'm gonna put these away. This one over here. This one needs to go get washed. But yeah, done cooking. Don't forget the chicken's in the oven too. Okay. Okay, that's funny. The batch is about to die when I'm finished. Which is what's up. Just gotta finish hanging out the clothes. This is Sunday. I'm about to sit and eat. Well, not those. Please.